Hey there, Cody here, and today in this video I want to talk to you about how you can make abstract paintings with squeegees. And I'm going to show you some pieces that I've done. Um, they are available for sale, but I'm not trying to sell you on them. just want to talk to you about how I made them and kind of the different effects. Okay, so first off, let's talk about the squeegee itself. Um, this is the one that I use. I think it's about a foot, um, maybe eight inches. I don't, I don't quite remember, to be honest. Uh, but I got this one five bucks at uh, Ace Hardware and I have a couple of these and these are the ones I tend to use. So we'll talk about the pieces. This one is called Fire and Ice. Um, so this is kind of where I started using the squeegee and to make the spray paintings. I actually like this piece a lot um, but I'll explain it. So you'll you'll see that it's like uh, red and blue. I apologize if the lighting in here is bad. Let me try turning this off. I don't know if that'll help or not. Eh, doesn't really make it much better. Okay, so I'll put it back. Maybe you can see it right there. Perfect. Okay, so you can see the blue and the red. Uh, what I like about the squeegee is that it creates these, these rough, like almost straight edges, right? But it also creates, if you, depending on how you do it. So if you put the paint on and then edge it and then pull it up, then so like if you put the paint on here and then put the squeegee to it and hold it there and then pull it away it'll create these straight edges um, which is nice because the the straight edges kind of give it like almost like structure in fact um, I have a smaller piece uh, right here that is kind of like this so you can see that this one was made with a squeegee and the you can see kind of this, this solid square here um, with the squeegee. And so the squeegee kind of gives you two effects, right? You can make the solid squares with it, or you can make kind of these, these jagged lines right here. So this, I just took, you know, I put some paint on the canvas and I just scraped it kind of erratically, like really quickly. And that's this, this, this brushed uh, look that you get um, if you do that. So this piece is pretty cool. I mean, it's, this was just really just a test piece, um, but I really like kind of the effect that it gave. So all of this was done with uh, just a squeegee, okay? Um, now, like I said, I have this piece, Fire and Ice. Uh, so literally all I did was I alternated between red and blue, and I would just pour some red on the canvas, and then I would scrape it out into like squares. So if you do it really slow, you can make the nice crispy lines. If you do it really fast, you can kind of make the like the erratic brush stroke almost look. Um, and if you kind of just do it over and over again, it'll make the squares, but it'll kind of make these little wavy uh, lines, kind of like right here. Um, so to make this piece, I literally just alternated between red and blue. I did some red, I did the squares, and then I put blue on there, did the, and I just went back and forth. And this piece actually turned out a lot better than I thought it would. Um, I was actually really happy with it. Um, and that's how I made that one. So I'm going to show you one last piece. Um, and it's essentially the same thing. And I actually think I have a video of this one uh, on there of how I made it. So this one, and if I don't, I, I think I'll be putting it on soon. Uh, this one is called The Real Me. And this one, okay, so the paint was a little thinner than I'd like. And so that's why you can kind of see the transparency here. Uh, you can see like some of the colors coming through. You can see the dark blue under the yellow. Um, but essentially this one, I just, you know, I, I did the scrape. So again, it's layered. So I did like one color, I started light and, you know, did the, the design and then put the next color on. And I just pour it kind of in blobs. So I would just pour it like here and here and here. And I would just pour little globs of it and then pull it out until it had the design. So this one, I, I kind of wish I had gone a little more, kind of like the uh, the Fire and Ice one where it was a little more structured. Uh, I don't hate the piece, but it's not as clean as I'd like it. Um, anyway, that's how I made it. So essentially, you can make uh, abstract art with just a squeegee. Um, literally, what I do is there's actually a couple of different ways you could do it and kind of different effects in fact give me a second and i know it's probably not good etiquette because i'm talking off camera but i don't feel like 
How to get down. So you can do, uh, I'm going to talk about two techniques that I do with squeegees, okay? So first off, you can do the, the colored paint thing where you put the paint on there. So what I did was I put like the paint here, right? Uh, just, a, just a glob of paint. And then I kind of, you know, use the squeegee to edge it out so that it was the square. Or I put it in the corner and pull it out, like, quickly. So this is, you know, slow structure. This is really fast, really erratic. It depends on the kind of the look you're going for. And this is a good example of some of the different effects that you can get. So, you know, very structured with straighter lines. You can make these really clean lines. Or if you pull it out, then it makes, like, this the this, this scrape look, right? And it creates, like, the little dots. So just something to think about. Um, but that's that's if you kind of like do blocks or something like that. I'm going to show you another piece that I did. Again, just a test piece because I did them on the same day. <clears throat> this piece right here um, was with a squeegee. And what I did was I put the, all of the paint on the canvas at one time. So I did all of the colors. So I just, you know, put a bunch of yellow here and a bunch of yellow here and here and here. And then I just scraped it all the way in one go uh, across and then usually you can see kind of where it, it fades this is because i went over it a second time so if it missed any parts of the canvas then i went over it again and so that's what this is so <clears throat> that's uh that's another kind of style that you can do with a squeegee so either way essentially it boils down to like this as the technique if, uh, if you don't watch any of my other videos, I think some of these I have on recorded, some I don't. But essentially, I'll put the paint on the canvas. So if I have the canvas, I'll, I'll put like big dots of paint. So if I'm going to layer it, then I'll do one color in different spots. And then I'll make, you know, either the squares or the like the erratic design. I'll let that dry and then I'll move on to another color. I'll put that in different spots. I'll scrape it, let it dry. And that's how I layer it. Um, if you want to do a painting like this, the last one I just showed you where it's the lines. I'll do all of the colors and then just scrape it from one end all the way to the other and then just do that again. And then if I don't like it or if there's parts that's not covered, then I'll just do it again until the whole thing is covered. And that's that's it. I mean, that's how I make abstract art with squeegees. I know that this isn't exactly showing you per se with a painting. I do have a few other videos where you might be able to see that. Um, but I just figured I'd, I'd do this specific video so you kind of had an idea um, one of how I do it, two of maybe some ideas of how you could do it um, with your own. And th this does work with acrylic. I've done it with acrylic. I just don't use acrylic myself. I use gloss enamel. Um, but also some of the pieces that I have, you know, you can look them up. If not, hopefully you enjoyed this video either way. Uh, but that's pretty much it. I will see you guys in another video. Take care.